models for the formation of our solar system suggest that we might have been born with many more planets than eight. Upwards of a dozen, 15, 20, possibly as many as 30 planets started in this solar system. We think that happens in every star system that formed. So some of that junk at some point is likely to pass through our star system. So three objects have been found in the last decade. Uh, the first of these, uh, Muamua, discovered with telescopes in Hawaii, that's a Hawaiian word for first scout, basically. Whoa, well, comets have a way of outgassing when they get near the sun. And that puts an extra little sort of force on their arc of motion that has them move in ways that are not purely gravitational. And that's true for all comets. We have two more objects that have come through and they have some weird properties, the brightness, the rotation rate. And so they don't match some of our models for what comets and asteroids should do. I'm delighted that they're finally in the catalog and we'll figure it out one day, maybe. And while my first thought is not that it's aliens, it's easier for me to recognize that interstellar objects are fundamentally different from anything we've studied in the solar system before. So we have to derive a new understanding of what an object can be as it moves from one star system to the next. This video is about the galactic equator and other equators like elliptical equators in the Milky Way. Please like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks.